Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Jaws for the NES. There is one reason why I'm playing this game. I used to play it at a friend's house back in the day, but I never beat it. It's finally time to get my revenge on Jaws. So with that said, let's get started. You start the game off in your boat, and the first thing we want to do is find a battle so we can kill some sea creatures. You've hit something. Now we have encountered our first battle. All we want to do here is kill the manta rays and jellyfish to collect shells, because shells are used as money in this game. The enemies also drop stars for bonus points, and they drop crabs, which make your diver swim faster. My goal of this battle was to collect five shells so we can get our first upgrade, and it looks like we got just enough, so let's go get our upgrade. You've hit something. Alright, it's just another battle. Let's just keep killing manta rays and jellyfish and collecting shells. We'll need those for future upgrades. Oh shit, what's this? It's a new enemy. It's Baby Jaws. Let's kill him. Sometimes after killing a Baby Jaws, you will go to a bonus scene, where you are in a plane dropping bombs on jellyfish down below. After you complete the bonus scene, you will be awarded bonus points and shells, depending on how many jellyfish you kill. Alright, I was awarded eight bonus shells. Those will come in handy. You can now track Jaws with the receiver. Now let's head back to the first port to get another upgrade. You've hit something. This game is a really short and easy game. Anyone can easily beat it in under 10 minutes. I actually looked up the world record in this game, and someone beat it in 4 minutes and 4 seconds. Damn, that's fast. Power level raised. Now let's head back to the other port and get our final upgrade. Power level raised. Now it is time to take on Jaws. You've hit Jaws. When you first fight Jaws, you are in your boat and you can drop some bombs on them to do some damage. 
Now we're back to our diver, and all we gotta do is spear him in his head. When you take on Jaws, you want at least a power level 3 or higher. As you can see, it takes a lot of hits just to do one bar of damage. This is far from an epic boss battle. It's long and boring. Well, we didn't take down all of Jaws' health this time, so we'll have to fight him again. You've hit Jaws. Alright, Jaws, bring it on one last time. Alright, we've taken down all of his health. Why are we not going to the final battle? There we go. This is the final battle with Jaws. You have to line up the front of the ship with Jaws, make him breach the water, and then stab him. But that time, he was not lined up. And I have no idea what happened here. I guess my Nintendo was glitching out. Come get you some, Jaws. Get him lined up. Make him breach and kill him, and that is how you beat Jaws for the NES. There are no ending credits to this game, but you do get some nice ending music. So sit back and enjoy the tune. So this concludes Jay the Classic Gamer's Let's Play Jaws for the NES. I want to thank you again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and thanks for the support.